We have the sails in fair shape, or at least most of them. We're in the process now of sanding it uh, for its new, new paint job. Uh, but there's a lot of woodwork that still needs to be done, a lot of wood repair. It's an old, it's an old vessel, so uh, anytime you have a wooden boat, there's an awful lot of maintenance and upkeep. And uh, there hadn't been a great deal of maintenance and upkeep on the vessel for many years before we acquired it. You know, the ship itself is full of uh, simple, simple machines. Uh, all the blocks and tackle to raise the sails and lower the sails. You know, we, we're doing a lot of woodwork as far as uh, it's like the uh, name and all on the vessel. It's a little hard to get from this angle here. Uh, but that's all uh, engraved, uh, you know, into the wood. We want to do it as fancy as we can within the historic context. And of course, we do have uh, many Coast Guard and Department of Transportation regulations that we have to comply with. We can use it as an educational platform. Uh, demonstrating things like simple machines with pulleys and blocks and tackle. Uh, levers. Uh, even uh, with our ship, the way that the rudder turns is basically a simple machine. It's experience and it, you'll get memories that will last a lifetime. Uh, it is so much fun. Uh, everyone enjoys themselves. Uh, we have the authentic period encampment in Mill Point Park where we actually live out there during the time period where once you walk into the encampment, you actually go back into time. You know, I can't build a time machine, but if I could, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm bringing people back into time. And then here on the waterfront with the sea battles, uh, around behind the parking garage, we have renamed that whole area Battery Point. Uh, basically because we have an artillery battery there of uh, 18th century uh, cannons, both field and naval pieces. That is pretty much second to none at any event. And we fire a lot of gunpowder. And a lot of people uh, really love seeing those cannons go off, even if they do try to plug their ears a little bit. And then here in the Hampton River, we have a beautiful area to do the uh, reenactments of the uh, of Blackbeard's last battle and seizing a merchant vessel, and we'll have uh, small boats out in the water, uh, which were quite commonly used, and we'll attack the shoreline, and the crowds love that. And then you have the children's area right up here, um, phenomenal. We'll have anything you can imagine pirate related or educational will be in this children's area, including dedicated pirates just for this area. Throughout downtown, uh, I have some very unique vendors selling their wares. If, if, you can, if you can imagine it, it's probably out there and you'll see things that you could not even possibly imagine. So it's a wonderful time just to take a stroll through the downtown area, uh, area and see the visitors.